your Braveheart MMA fighter in the Stevie Ray's gym. Making his way to the cage now. Yeah, John Gilfillan just undergoing some uh, final instructions from Stevie Ray there. And of course, Stevie, an absolute legend of the game. Former Bama champion, former Cage Warriors world champion. And of the, course, the only one to do it, I think. Both. both. Pretty it sure. Could, it could well be. Yeah. Could well be. I'd have to have a think about it, but. Uh, I believe possibly the first to do it. Yeah. And uh, and of course then went on to have uh, you know a fantastic run through the UFC. Left the UFC with a winning record. And I believe a little birdie tells me perhaps looking for a comeback fight. Well, I believe so, and I think we'll have a chat with him in the bar tonight, Brad. Making his debut here tonight at Extreme Combat Budo, Pavel Pissora. He'll fill him bringing a record of uh, one and two in, so has a bit of experience. But of course, with these uh, amateur guys early in their careers, you know, all of a sudden uh, an O and O guy comes out of nowhere and shocks the world. I mean, how many great amateurs have we seen on the scene over the past 10 years, Jamie? And you think. Oh, I never really heard of this guy before, and then all of a sudden it's the next Dominic Wooding or the next John yeah, Shink or the next Conor that. Hickner. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Pizora's, um his teammate earlier on fought against Tunde Lawal out of higher level, and again the higher level crew, the Dinky Ninjas, Braveheart, higher level, all part of the same sort of setup really. So they're fighting again against the same team here. And how much of that play in the head of Pizora to know that <laughs> these guys are, have, have already put one of their guys away? Well, you know, he, he, he's got the impetus to get revenge now. Or, you know, has it brought the mood down in the locker room? We're about to find out. Crosby about to get this one on the way. Three three minute rounds if they need them. Pesora very well uh, represented in the crowd here at the Hoops Basketball Arena in Barrow and Furness. As I said Millen, before, though, of course, uh, travelling down from Scotland, as we know. As I said before, though, the, the, the Scottish guys don't tend to care where they fight, and that's a big difference. And as you mentioned before, about you know, does the home crowd advantage matter? No, it doesn't when the Scottish guys are coming down because. They will turn up with nobody and still fight the best guy in, in, in the world. They don't care. Um, it's what they used to because obviously they don't have the, the, the most that we have in the in the in England, especially. It's a nice takedown from Gil Fillon there, but trying to work that triangle. Yeah, Pissora getting those legs working very early. But the top pressure from uh, Gil Fillon looks looks heavy here. He can he can push on that knee and try and pass that diamond. Uh, posture up and work out that diamond there, which he's done beautifully. And now he's going to start to put some heavy shots down. Go watch him up kicks, but he wants it on the feet. Clearly wants it on the feet, Gil Fillon. Yeah, step back straight away there through a nice straight right hand down the pipe as Pissora was getting back to his feet. Oh, it's a knee injury, and it's over. And it looked like Pissora was uh, attempting to get back to his feet. He, he went down clutching his knee and. You know, that's the fighter's heart, Jamie. He tried to spring back up and carry on, but, you know, there's clearly been some sort of knee injury there that caused him to uh, to fall back. Of course, this is not how we want to see a fight end, but we've got to put the uh, the safety and protection of these guys. And, look, we know how tough these guys are. Sometimes you've got to save them from themselves, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and that, that's it, you know, uh, from, from, a, from a guy that suffered from serious severe knee injuries in the past I, I do get it and yeah, when, when it happens yeah when it happens I, I do get it it's um, as a fighter he wants to get back up and you no know, I mean he wants to carry on fighting but that's not how it works no. unfortunately <laughs> 
Well, Gil Fillon was more than happy to throw down again there. <laughs> Yeah, and referee Paul Cosley just so there's, just still, like, there's, there's a limp on there as well, and, and, and for me that's you know some kind of a, some kind of injury. Yeah, look, you know it's uh, it's a, a heavy, violent, full contact sport, and uh, you know sometimes injuries happen when you're uh, when you throw in these kicks, elbows, and punches around in the cage. But you know the only thing that's going to happen there is uh, the, in the knee's going to get injured worse, and uh, there's no benefit. To I that. think the best part about that was Gil Fillon was more than happy to just <laughs> throw down again. <laughs> Well, you can stay in the cage, we'll find someone he, he, else. He could maybe go 2-0 in one night. <laughs> Where's that guy that got 86 before? He'll probably have a go. <laughs> now, and unfortunate for John Gilfillan as well, because obviously, you know, he's travelled down here to get a full fight tonight. It's not his fault that this has happened. But, you know, they'll both live to fight another day, I'm sure. And who knows, we may see uh, this one get rearranged at a later date. Ending for that one between John Gilfillan and Powell Pizzora. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll see a redo of that at a future Budo or Extreme Combat card.